Whether it's a blankie or a teddy bear, most kids have their favorite comfort object. But there's one baby who may be ahead of his time. Baby Harry was having a hard time sleeping without playing with his mother's hair. So if he didn't have her hair to play with, he would not sleep. Her solution, a mannequin head. If you look at these pictures, <laughs> this is what he plays with now to fall asleep. <laughs> and uh, the mom admits it's creepy, but she's happy that the doll is helping Harry sleep on his own. I mean, I, th I think many of our children have had loveys and objects that are attached to. This is funny, but it's actually not very safe. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, but, wow, is he pulling out that hair? Is something gonna go in his mouth? But before we get choke? to that, can we just talk about the irony that Harry is into hairy mannequins? <laughs> his name is Harry. It's just like a big headed doll. Yeah, but, but I don't know if this mannequin has really been designed to be kids safe, right? Like I know I'm, okay, so the backstory is I have two kids who both had loveys they were attached to, but we were always so obsessive compulsive about like, is it the one that has soft cotton inside it? Does it, you know, cause they can have beads that they can choke on. They're like all these things you can pull off that can harm your kid. So, so I just feel like that, that's not sure a that safe it, lovey. Yeah, I'm you sorry. can't recommend that. If Harry's using it though, and it's, you know, if that hair is on there nice the and- could, If it's nice and tight. You know, at least, it, Get wrapped your concern around. is if he pulls a chunk out and then yeah. starts eating it and chokes exactly. on it. Exactly, I'm, I'm looking at it with the mom lens. And and to me, this is not what I would want my kid to have as a lovey, though I get that it gives so Harry some you comfort. Just, would you just lay there all day and let Harry pull on your hair? <laughs> well, what, what would I'd be say, your solution? So there's actually, interestingly, so I'm obsessive compulsive when it comes to parenting things. So there are all these safe ways you can kind of wean your child off of lovey. And so you have to distract them and sub something else out. I mean, there are ways to kind of gently you taper him off of the You want to take away Harry's mannequin lovey. head? Well, what's yeah, he going to do? Harry, take it to preschool? You try to take that him? head away from yeah. Harry. He's not going to be a happy camper. Yeah, but sooner or later, it's going to be weird yes. when Harry has to go somewhere. At, He's right, taking the mannequin head, okay? There's going like, to be separation Sooner or later, anxiety. there's going to be a problem, you know, depending no, on No, I disagree. His... This is Harry. <laughs> Precocious. We've been talking about kids earlier in the show prematurely probably having sex too early. Harry's gonna be that kid walking into school. They call, <laughs> they call me the Harry. Saying the kid who walks in with the mannequin head is definitely not gonna have sex.